Hi guys, uh, I'm going to try to do a different kind of uh, picture sharing with you. This is where Grandpa goes fishing uh, most of the week, most of the days. That's right down here in Wilbraham. Uh, these are the kind of fish I've been fishing for, uh, rainbow trout. Uh, they stocked about 400 of them or so uh, this past uh, month, uh, two weeks ago I guess. Um, last Saturday, um, we had a great afternoon. I uh, was probably catching uh, one of these guys, uh, probably one every three casts. It was just a lot of fun. Uh, the thing that I like about uh, spinner fishing is um, it's easy to just take that spinner right out, as you can see in this picture here, and um, you don't have to even touch the fish or handle a fish in any way. Uh, the day was pretty wild. Um, able to get a lot of great pictures of them coming in or when you were pulling them into shore, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, this next set of pictures here are kind of close-up pictures. Um, it's hard to catch a picture like that because obviously you don't know when they're going to break water or come out of water. But this guy came right out of the water. You can see the spinner in his mouth and all of that. It's pretty cool. Uh, I made it bigger uh, so he could actually see the spinner. Uh, this, this guy was about 17 inches long, probably a pound and a half in weight. Uh, through the day, uh, and you're going to see a lot of pictures that look similar because uh, each one of them is a different catch. Uh, here's another one where you can see the spinner still attached to the fish while he's in the water. Uh, good shot. It's hard to get those kind of pictures. This one here, the one coming up, is the one uh, that I caught uh, right after the one you just saw. And you're going to see me in the next few frames there. I had to put my foot on him because he was flopping around so much. It was hard to get the uh, spinner out of his mouth uh, without really hurting him. Now, when I put my foot on him like that, that it's not, I'm not crushing him. I'm just trying to hold him, you know, kind of softly so he doesn't flop around. It gives me a chance to get that hook out, um, you know, with the spinner. Again, here's another one coming right into the shore. Uh, it's hard to get a picture of them hitting the spinner because it's way underwater when they do hit it. Uh, so the best you can do is when they come into shore and they land. Again, another picture here of uh, just taking the spinner out of yet another one. I think on this day, I probably caught um, maybe 12 or 14, somewhere in there, uh, about that many altogether. This is a kind of a tough picture to see them, but anyway, he's lying down so that his face is facing you and his tail is down the other end. You can see where the water is very, very low. Um, that That's just the way it is at this time of the year, this year anyway. And I'm sure it's the same thing over where you guys go, your pond over there. Um, this one here that's coming up, again, it's it's probably one of the last ones of the day. Um, after a while, it kind of stops because the uh, school moves on. Uh, this picture that's coming, that's going to finish this, is the other side, the right side of the pond that we fish at. Uh, it's called Nine Mile Pond because it's nine miles uh, exactly from Springfield. And that's it. I hope you liked it.